Well, y'all remember how I said whenever we're painting a car, it's just a bunch of repetitive stuff, right? Sanding and spraying and sanding and spraying, sand and spray. Well, get ready for that, man, because now I have a whole day worth of sanding ahead of me and hopefully spraying. <sighs> I have to get this booth ready too. That's one thing, most body shops you go to, they'll have at least two spray booths or they'll have a prep area, right? This right here is basically my prep booth and it's also my spray booth. So whenever you use this area for prepping, obviously you get dust and, and stuff just all over the freaking place. And before you can actually go through and spray, and especially clear coat, you gotta completely clean all that dust out. Seeing as how I'm doing all this stuff at my house, I would much rather the dust be contained. I say that because you might be thinking to yourself, well, why not do all the sanding and prep work out of the booth so you don't have to clean it? I would, I would much rather clean the booth than have this stuff all over my garage or something, you know what I mean? But anyhow, starting on the driver door, I'm just going over it, it's like a, with like a one inch by 12 inch block. I I'm i not sure exactly what size it is, but I'm block sanding it. Um, and I'm using a 220 grit at the moment. So basically I went over everything with like a 220 and then I come back with a 320 just to kind of smoothen it out a little bit more. After I'm finished, go ahead and hang this door up, go and grab the passenger door. Gotta do the exact same thing to it. Basically you have to do the exact same thing to every piece of the body panels. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's why I say it's just repetitive. It's like this piece I'm block sanding with 220 and then 320. The next piece I'm block sanding with 220, then 320. It's just repeat. Got both doors hanging up now, starting on the fender. Uh, the fender is a little bit more difficult to use a block like that on because there's not a whole lot of really flat surfaces. Everything kind of has like a roundness to it, but anyhow, did my best. Well guys, I was trucking along the other day. Um, it's actually a couple of days later. It's crazy to think I was supposed to have this car done last weekend, like before last weekend, and now it's the following weekend <laughs> shit happens what can i say i've actually said this before don't make plans bro because when you make plans uh, the world likes to prove you wrong but anyhow um i did get the doors sanded and i got both fenders all block sanded they're pretty much ready for paint other than i need to kind of dust them and wipe them down and stuff now but uh i was in the middle of sanding and it started freaking raining out of nowhere it starts raining bro like that's seriously like my luck so of course the uh the booth is all wet now do you guys see up there on the top like you can see the, like that line right there that's a i i guess you could call it a crack there's there's quite a few of them that echoes so loud in here anyhow this this is actually a billboard tarp man like those big billboards that you see on the side of the freeway that says stuff or has pictures on it they actually print it on this stuff right here um this one i forget what's on it. it it was a fast food restaurant but when i got this one this one was really old and it had been folded for a really long time i bought this from my old boss and what they used it for is they would pull it out into the uh parking lot and they would cover the whole parking lot with it whenever they would bring signs out and then they would put it right in the middle of it and they would texture right so if you notice like all this stuff on here that's actually texture. Uh, this is one of their old tarps that they used to use to cover the parking lot. So the texture wouldn't get all over the place. So I went and bought this from him. Well, I went up there to buy it from him and he gave it to me for free, which is really cool. Huge shout out to my old boss, Derek. I used to hate you when I worked for you, but I'm I'm starting to understand why you were an asshole all the time. Yeah, you know, it's so old. Like these tarps are really freaking strong, bro. They're super strong, but they will crack. And that's what those spots up there are, is they have cracked. And that's the reason why I keep going and buying these cheaper tarps because this tarp isn't gonna rip, bro. It's not gonna go anywhere. It'll be there for years and years, but it will leak. So I've been putting like just regular tarps over the top of it to try to protect it from leaking, which in re reality, I should have gotten one of those tarps and put it underneath this one because then this one would have protected the cheaper tarp from getting sun damage, but either way. What I really need to do now is I need to go down to, there's a there's a place locally that you can buy these from. Um, 
and get a much newer one that doesn't have those stress cracks in it that isn't worn like this and then we'll be golden bro i'll actually leave this one on and then just cover it with the new one you know eventually anyhow that was a couple of days ago man that was uh wednesday i think that i was sanding all that it rained all day yesterday thursday now it's currently friday which is supposed to rain today but i looked up the forecast and it says it's not going to it's like a three percent chance so more than likely not but i think before i actually get cracking back on that stuff i'm gonna do some some things i need to get done around the house bro i've already lost a few days as far as making videos which i hate doing that believe me i hate not putting up videos it's my only source of income you know what i'm saying but braven's getting off school soon and i think when i pick braven up come home and tell him bro we got some stuff to get done around here you know what i mean it's not stuff that i'm gonna record so don't worry i'm not from this point forward it's not gonna be like a cleaning video but we did go by the the p.o box yesterday in which we do have a bunch of packages right here we'll open these up for you as soon as i get back home with braven i'm gonna wait till braven's here so that um he can open it up with me Ugh. But other than that, bro, I've just kind of just had a lazy day all day yesterday and just trying to clear my mind of stuff. Um, I do want to go and pick up one thing that I haven't had here that I really need is some tack rags. So I think I'm going to go to old school, go grab some tack rags right now before I have to pick Braven up and some freaking primer, some high build primer. I'm all out of high build. I'm all out of Bondo too. Shit. It's going to be another hundred bucks. Watch. Oh my god, my filters went everywhere. So, 130 freaking dollars, man. We got tack rags, I got some high build primer. It excites me whenever I have a full gallon of high build primer at home, because I like to use a lot of that stuff. <laughs> I don't know, it's basically like liquid Bondo, bro. Like, you get stuff so smooth, but I um, got that. Um, what else did I get? Oh, just some big mixing cups and stuff. So whenever we start spraying khaki, I can mix a lot of paint at once. So yeah, gotta go grab Rughead now, and then we'll get back home. Jesus. Need some WD-40 on that door, man. Let's see Braven's response. Are those clips? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what we can do right now. Mm -hmm. So, um, this weekend, today, cleaning. Yeah, there's a lot of cleaning. Oh wow, I wasn't expecting that. It must be because I have the camera out, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the one that just came? Mm -hmm. You gave them our home address, huh? Yeah. Without asking me. You see, I, I tend to do background checks on people and run their name through the system before I decide to give them our home address. Who said I didn't do that? You son of a bitch, you didn't do shit. Oh, need a knife, need another, there it is. Got the cut knife. Mm. This is one of my, this is one of my goals for this weekend, bro, is I want to do something about this. This is freaking nuts. Like, these shelves suck. We have so much stuff in here. Like, I feel like there could be so many more shelves, like going all, I don't know. I thought this box consisted of what's in that box, so I'm I'm interested to know what's in there. Oh, it's an Amazon box. I don't know. We'll see. Where do you cut this? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get to use the knife. Just can't. Piece of cardboard. Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh. Okay, so the guy hit me up on Instagram, told me he's gonna send me this. What is it? Uh, uh, um, it's it's for my fuel pressure regulator. It's to turn it. Watch, let's go. Because remember, I have it upside down. Yeah. And I had to like run it all weird. Well, this bolts onto the fuel rail, so then you can turn this the other direction, like that. Oh, uh, okay. So that makes sense. Yeah, because I, I told him, I was like, I don't know if I really need it because, I mean, it's working the way it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's just upside down. Um, but he's like, I'll just send it out anyhow, just in case you end up wanting to use it. So, Jeez, that's sick, though. That bolt on, and then I'd be able to turn that to where it sits in a little bit better of a position, basically. Yeah, that's sick. But hell yeah, we'll put it on the shelf, and if I ever, you know, need it, then yeah. we have it. Need it for anything. Whoa, whoa, watch yourself there, bud. Oh, can I just cut packages for once? <laughs> you got that <laughs> You got that knife a little close to your leg. <laughs> I'm hoping these are clips, bro. 
Oh my god, dude. Would you look at that? All the clips I need, they're all perfect. Dude, that is so... He got these from the junkyard? Yep. Dude, they look like he didn't break a single... Like, that guy's got some patience, man. Yeah, he definitely This did. man has some patience, and he has well, some he's from, skill. He's from California, so it's like there's a bunch of different DAs. So yeah. He went and made sure to get all of them. Dude, that is so freaking exciting. Now we can get them damn windows in the DA, bro. That is... Technically complete. Yeah, technically. There's still a few things that were waiting to come, but... Yeah. yeah. Hail freaking yeah. Okay. Next. This is also for you, right? Yeah. Oh, don't let that knife go in there too deep. Can I just open a button? Mmm. Another set of 50 50s, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I understand the whole 50 50 thing, but I genuinely just really like the, the 92 93 tail lights on your car. Now you get to decide, you get to go through them and see which one's the. Yeah, With, you know, you got two lefts and two rights. I hope you enjoy them. Can't wait to see them on the DA. Much love from Static Carlos. Put them back in there until we're ready to clean them up and clear coat them and stuff. Here's some paintings for your room, Braven. Why don't I get any paintings for my room? Because it's for my birthday. Oh, okay. The mask is if you want to throw it inside creamy. Oh yeah, and the passenger seat, there you go. The gauge pod, I figured you guys could use it. Hit me up if you are interested in more artwork. IG at enigma underscore kid. Oh, the boy's a graffiti artist, huh? What's up? I should disinfect this first, huh? Whatever. Oh yeah, we yep. should know about that. Uh, we'll, put, we'll put it in the DA for sure. Yeah, that one, yeah, no, it looks kind of, looks really weird. It's not me? Let me see. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that's me, bro. <laughs> you're tripping, that's me right there. Nah, you're so crazy. Hell yeah, yeah. That's what's up. Oh, that's a pretty dope-ass character. There you go. Sheesh. This looks like a knock. Bro, that's Yeah, that's what's up. I eventually, I want to go down, we have a, we have a, uh, a local store here that sells all the graffiti spray paint and shit. Yeah. Like the, like the baller ass spray paint. Like not the stuff that I used to use in the streets. But um, I want to go get some like dope ass colors and maybe do a, do something on our fence out back. Just for... Like an artwork? Art piece? It's just like I, I've never been much of a technical graffiti artist. Like I guess you can say. Like doing pieces. Like I've always just done like fill-ins. Like quick bombs and shit. But... I can get down a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Maybe we'll do the garage, bro. Like, what's up? Put sick. it in the comments down below if you guys are interested in seeing that. I know everybody's going to be interested in seeing that, but this is sick. I'll use this in khaki, you know what I'm saying? Sheesh. Who opens this one? I don't know who it is, so I'm you could do it. I'm opening it. Is there a top or a bottom? Okay. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. I'm actually interested in what's in this. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Oh, it looks like there's a bunch of stuff in here. Is that pink stuff? Bruh! This looks like a bunch of paint stuff. What? These are like respirator oh, yeah, the filters. Filter. Replacement filters. What is that? Prep pen? Oh, like mark body damage. Oh, a little handy mat. What? That is dope. I ain't never even seen that before. Sick. Like masking little stuff off. <laughs> Somebody sent us like their their whole stock. They're like, I was just look freaking gloves, tack rags. It's literally what I just went to old school to go get. Bruh. Tack rags. And color match cards. New buffing pad. 3000 grit, Velcro pad, some safety glasses. Bro. Bro. What is this? Six, is that 60 grit? Good lord. Oh my lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> what is that? Oh. oh, okay, some 80 grit for a... a belt sander? No, it's for a block. Oh, okay, block. More safety glasses. Dude, somebody hooked it the F up. More filters for your thing? Yeah, I'm gonna have to get a 3M one now. Jeez. Need more sandpaper. Dude, I like this Velcro stuff, and we have the sander for 80 it. Grit. 80 grit? That sander that uh that David gave us. Yeah. 
I was just telling the guy at Old School that I'm gonna be coming in, stocking up on freaking... 120? Oh, oh 1200? Yeah. It's wet sand, the Velcro. Sheesh. So sick. Dude, that is, a, that's a shitload of paper too. A bunch. Sandpaper? You know, what is it? 220? 220? This is, this feels like, like 400 or something. What is this? 320. <laughs> Pretty close. What is that? What is that? Oh, it's another roll of paper. <laughs> Dude, we are running out of paper too. That is what's up. This this is huge, bro. So, yeah, sometimes it's like, like it's perfect timing when people send stuff like yeah, this. Yeah. Dude, this is this is huge, man. This is definitely huge. What is this? Like we could always use that's some buff buffing compound. Ultra cut compound. Sick. Hell yeah. Now we got more of a mess clean up, damn it. Yeah, now we gotta put it all back in there. <laughs> no, I'm gonna, we're gonna organize our cabinet. Oh yeah, go put it all in the cabinet. Put yeah. it all in there. Sick. Oh my God. From Joe. I'm not, I'm not gonna try to pronounce his last name. Thank you, Joe. Huge shout out to you, brother. Hell freaking yeah. Dude, if you guys ever wanna send like paint supplies, like I, I get people to message me all the time, like what do you need for the garage? Like what can I send that would help? You know what I mean? Dude, like sandpaper and stuff, that's freaking huge, man. I would say lacquer thinner, but that's probably hard to ship. So there's the clips that we did have, the very few, which is like not even half of what we needed. And then bang, bang. So is this really one car? Like you need all of these clips or is there extra? I'm pretty sure he said there might be extra in there. Okay, because that's a lot of freaking clips, bro. Boom, boom. There are the windows, but before we actually go and install them, I want to kind of clean them up because there is like some like residue, not residue, I don't know. I want to kind of buff them out. Boom, cutting compound and the finishing polish from Presta Products. Boom, 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 bang, 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 boom. They should use that for a commercial, right? Anyhow, I'm just gonna use this stuff to, like I've never done this before. Honestly, the shop that I used to work at, I saw the old man that worked there doing this to a window before and I was like, what the hell is that guy doing? Polishing glass, but here I am years later. I'm gonna try it for myself. Make it juicy, juicy. <laughs> Make it juice it. Right. I just swing it off onto the ground. Hey, does anybody have any DA windows? <laughs> I have extras. Oh, we do have extras. <laughs> juice. Step one is completed. Completion, my friend. Now step two. Juicer. Got to open the lid. Lid opened with precision. Juicer. Oh. Juicer. Oh. Juice. Uh, juicer. Yeah. Lid closed with precision. Now buff. So I did not wax the back side of the windows because really they don't look bad that and I don't want to layer a wax on here Potentially messing up our bond with our glue, but I am gonna wipe the back side down with some alcohol This is only 70% it's all I can freaking find right now it's like hard to find anything nowadays. I normally get 90%
bro, I have no idea how much of this stuff to put. Yeah, me either. And where. I'm just gonna send it. I would imagine, like right here. That is a lot. Well, the damn camera died. The battery died while we're in the middle of getting this trim piece on, but got it all on there, bro. Would you look at that? It actually looks like a damn car. <laughs> that is freaking crazy. It's just that final touch that it needed. You know what I mean? I already went through and wiped all the fingerprints back off. Look at that reflection, man. The glass feels so good. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely needs to be buffed. Right from the last red paint job on it. Oh my god, it does. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we'll have to buff your window out for sure. All right, one more. I'm just going to hyperlapse through this second one, man, and get it done. But hell freaking yes. Braven's got to pull these off now because these actually get double stick tape. It is official, bro. You have all the damn windows in your car. <laughs> so now now you can roll the windows up and this thing will actually be sealed up i don't have to keep an eye out for cats but if a cat got in there and peed inside braven's car it'd be his freaking fault you son of a bitch it would be because you're feeding that stupid ass cat i just, feed it. I just, I just tried petting it. Pet it gabby fed it yeah, gabby and then you're out here petting it and shit and then that thing was hanging out over here crawling on all the cars for a week all right my dudes that's pretty much it for today man i'm gonna go ahead and call it there uh we didn't get anything done on khaki of course we ended up working on the da that's just how my life goes but i think it's pretty dope that we got the rear windows in you know guys like i was saying earlier in this video i'm probably gonna spend the weekend just kind of cleaning up and stuff um i am gonna do some work on khaki also we more than likely won't have a video up through the weekend um so i'll probably just see you guys monday dang look at this thing mm -mm. Mm -mm. anyhow peace out guys and i'll see you on the next one peace <laughs>